Tip Key, and today I have another great show for you all, and I'm super excited to talk to you about the healing benefits of water. So the first person I'd like to introduce you to is Gina Bria. She's the founder and the executive director of the Hydration Foundation. <laughs> Hydration is her mission. <laughs> She's researching the science of gel hydration and breakthrough sciences. Gina is the co-author of Quench, Five Days to Hydration, and is a TEDx talk speaker. Gina collects stories and strategies from around the globe on where to find the best water resources. She's trained at the Columbia University. She works with scientists, schools, clinicians, and organizations focusing on the newly emerging sciences of fascia with its role in electrical conduction and tissue hydration. So welcome, Ms. Gina. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm so glad you're here. This is gonna be exciting. I'm glad we found you. And then let me introduce Kenny Liu. I love Kenny Liu. <laughs> you know, scientists have studied spring water to discover it unlocks the mysteries of miraculous healing results. And Kenny Liu is the founder of Spring Aqua, a new earth plasma-based, life-promoting structured water, which contains components of mountain spring water properties. Kenny and his family have been trailblazers in several earthly inventions, expanding over their family lifetimes. His godfather developed the Rubik's Cube toy and as well as an FDA approved EKG machine. Now the Liu family presents a complete water hydration technology system you can have right in your home. And I have it, it's amazing. So the Liu family generation have always been ahead of their lifetime. So thank you, Kenny, for joining us. Thanks for having us, it's gonna be exciting. <laughs> Right, right. So I have to say, you are both are big pioneers in the hydration industry. <coughs> so, so Miss Gina, I'd love for you to open it up and share with what what are your findings when it comes to hydration. Well, I I would love to talk about structured water because it is a term that you're seeing all over Instagram and the internet. Everyone seems to be uh, aware now of something called structured water. But I would like to just make a very short definition for everybody. And that is essentially structured water are water molecules that are in enough organization that they can donate their uh, and share electrons. This is really where the electrical charge in water is. That is not in your tap water. It's not in bottled water. By the time bottled water gets to you, that electricity has, well, let's call it evaporated but it's disappeared. And because of the way we treat water um, from our sink and our taps, we've disorganized the alignment of the water molecules that are passing that electrical charge through. So it is only when water gets into this alignment that it then can deliver the electricity. It's almost like, um, you know, flipping on a switch uh, for a light or plugging in your cell phone. It's as straightforward as that. When the water molecules are lined up, they can deliver beautiful charge to us. When they're not, they don't, they don't, they bring in a very modest amount of electricity. And this is why we are in such chronic poor health as a country that you don't see this in other countries. They're still letting their water uh, align by either natural methods or indigenous methods, or um, uh, they haven't interfered with them through the water treatment systems that we're you know, using even to irrigate our crops. So we're in trouble until we get water back to its ability to give us the life force that it's meant to do. That's what structuring water really means. So, so great. What about you, Kenny? What got you started on this journey of water? Well, you know, just me being a businessman, doing businesses all over the world, connecting with different types of people, I was actually at that time translating for a U.S. company wanting to bring some whole food supplements into, say, Asia, China, Southeast Asia. So I was, you know, I was kind of being the bridge, you know, between the Asian culture and the American culture. I was kind of bridging, you know, both sides, understanding both, both economies and how both places work. 
And um, I remember this 2014, I think it was the year I went to a meeting and uh, it was a very small group of people, but they were all pretty important. They all have very specific talents and everything. And after about seven days of translating, um, a gentleman came out to me and goes, that's the kid. That's the kid I want to work with. <laughs> and so, and that ended up being my godfather, becoming a very close family friend because we met through one of my dad's friends. So it's all kind of related through relationships and family. And, um, um, and, and at that time, um, he, he, I remember him telling me, go back to the U.S., come back in two weeks and come to my house and let's talk about different businesses and ideas. I have a lot of thoughts that I want to share with you, right? And so, you know, me not knowing too much, I went back to Seattle, so I'm from, told my wife, got to go back quickly, to do a quick turnaround. And so what we ended up doing was we ended up, um, you know, going to Taiwan, he took me to a McDonald's and he goes, Hey, this is the American dream. <laughs> so that was the that was the fun part of the story. We he took me to, but that's when I found out he's the guy who developed the original, like you said earlier, the Rubik's cube that everybody plays with, right? He went to Austria Hungary and went got the patent development rights in the late in the late sixties and developed that. That's also when I found out that he had EKGs, ultrasounds, medical devices, all sorts of research R and D behind him. At the meeting, I had no idea. I just translating for someone is pretty, you know, pretty cool. But we're able to become friends, become very close, and because it was a close tie to my dad, even made it easier to make that transition. And so, you know, it just turned out that t turned out to him to be a very good kind of a mentor slash manufacturer slash engineer. And the water came from my dad's another friend of my dad. It's funny, it's all through my dad, um, where he had. Um, the original concept of kind of an ecosystem in a box, right? Looking at springs and study with his team. And um, he basically um, came to me and said, look, I've got this pretty cool project. Um, and he's a PhD in terms of quantum physics. It's Professor Henry. And I said to him, we need to connect with someone who is a material science developer and engineer for, for the future. So my role in our family was basically the, the team that married the scientist to the engineer and funded and put the whole thing together, how to get the whole business started back in 2014. Right. And so that was kind of interesting because there's a, a lot of it's new at that time. Cause you know, water is fairly new to me then, but we had to do a lot of, a lot of like kind of learning and what's new, what needs to grow, what needs to come about. Right. And so, um, as that company started in 2014, we obviously, Story goes, a group of scientists, including the people that I knew, looked at different springs around the planet. And the idea was, you know, the Lord Springs is very famous for healing. Everyone goes there about four to five, maybe six million people a year go there to kind of visit the healing shrine to get some sort of healing or some miraculous results, right? And um, so, you know, if you study the rock layers, think about that, the water composition, you look at the Nordnow Springs in Germany, you, you talk to anthropologists, talk to the Himalayan people in the mountain, look at desert culture people, how they hydrate. You can quickly figure out how to recreate a lot of the processes. So what we ended up doing was we created this kind of the one system you have, the drinking system that had 14 filters, and those 14 filters kind of mimic natural spring water. Think of those different rock layers as the water goes from the, like the tap goes through the 14 filters. When it comes out the other side, it's going to be clean. It's going to be remineralized, it's structured, but the idea is to take the concept of taking tap water and making it to spring water. And that goes back to Gina talking about structured water. Now we can pause here. She's back. We found her. Yeah.
I want to add because uh, I was talking about the story um, when you when you're off a little bit about how the idea of us mimicking ecosystem in a box, taking tap water, making the spring water. But just hearing her, the easy way to explain it really is think about eating an apple, eating an orange, eating a watermelon, and the water inside the apple, the orange, the watermelon is basically structured water. So I always tell people, if you, you know, when we eat a water, sometimes we're thirsty, but you eat. You eat some watermelon, it feels very hydrating than drinking a glass of water, right? Or eating the raw fruits and vegetables. Sometimes you have a different diet eating your hydration through your lettuce, your cabbages, your kales, your carrots, cucumbers, or mushrooms, right? So so that's just my only point to make because that really made, made a lot of sense to me as a layman. Like, hey, what is structured water? Well, it's that juice inside the leaf, <laughs> or in her case, it's that juice that inside the plant tubers that the, the the indigenous desert people were actually using to hydrate themselves and that made a lot of sense to me so what do you think is the natural process those roots and those fruits they're uh touching mineral content soils they're bringing up the mineral contact the electricity from there and even more importantly they're receiving the sun the electromagnetic rays from the sun mm. and that is what shapes the water into its ability to now share all that energy from the minerals in the sun and it's why food turned out to be such a profound hydrator but um with kenny uh you know i've known kenny for a while Our, the hydration foundation has been working with him as a colleague it's our job to bring forward uh, good companies who are are seeking with new technologies to try to recover and restore our water. And, um, and we've been having these great conversations on using highly charged water to restore water, to restore our soils even. If you can imagine that, how powerful it would be to have uh, water with electrical charge being used to now feed our crops again. Um, and support that natural process, which got diminished through, you know, unfortunately, with good intention, we tried to clean up the water. We didn't know we were breaking the chain of electrical passage. So it's been a great, it's been a great collaboration with Kenny. I, I, I am very happy we've been able to work together, share our mission. Yes, I'm very excited you've been able to back each other up and follow through with giving mm -hmm. that knowledge to more people. Uh, I did put his, uh, my very first chapter of my book, Superpowers, is on the cosmic water, healing benefits of water. So I had a situation that I went to a deep meditation and I was told by my angels and guides that I was to get the best water that I could find. And so I went on this quest, calling people, researching, and I was led back to Kenny through a friend who had had cancer and she had changed her water. And I said, I know you changed your water. What is it? I'm getting the chills as I'm saying this. Oh God. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And so she led me to Kenny and I called there and got Kenny on the phone. We talked for like an hour and he was just this whirlwind of great knowledge and information. It was, you know, not a cheap quest to buy as a single mom, but I knew if you wanted to have the best life on this planet, you got to start with your water because your body is made over 70% of water and it completely changed my life in the, in like moments, moments, moments. Mm -hmm. I started watering my plants. So I want you all to realize I have my own faucet in my kitchen that it's, I have 15 filters underneath it. The left side of the faucet is 7.5 pH balance and the right side is 9.5. So I started watering my plants with them and I saw the energy and frequency of my plants in my house start to change. Mm. And I got so excited because I was like, holy smokes, if that is doing that to my plants, what is it doing to me? And I was using it to soak my fruits, my vegetables, make my tea. Everything was going through this water. And, and then I saw my mind change. 
my my body frequency and energy change, the way I thought, the way I felt, mm. the way I functioned, my performance. I saw it in my my daughter changing. I was like, whoa, whoa, this water is amazing. So what else have you guys witnessed that has happened to people changing into this kind of water filtration system? <laughs> Uh, I want to add a quick statement because you said the body is 70% water mass and it's important to understand that. But I think Gina, I think you have, you make another more important point where the body is made out of 99% by water molecules. And yeah. I think if we know that we're water beings and I tell people, if you don't believe that, just put your fingers in the plug, you'll know you can do it <laughs> really, really quickly. Right. So I don't, Gina, why don't you elaborate how important that is? Because now we know, and, and we just talked about the importance of water and how you, it can change your life through hydration, but 99%. That's well, you know, um, it's fascinating. I get that number from Dr. Gerald Pollack himself, <clears throat> who is one of the world's foremost researchers on this new uh, knowledge about water having a plasma state, right? What I noticed in the desert and then through my work with Dr. Pollock was recognizing that we're always thinking about hydration coming in liquid form. And we think of ourselves as, oh, you know, maybe there's some water sloshing around in there. But actually, mm -hmm. if we think of water in the plasma form, then we understand what a tissue, what our tissue is like. It's not just liquid sloshing around inside of us. All our cells are little uh, like little packets of gel water, of uh, this plasma-like water. And that's why we're so much more water than we realized. We kept thinking about it only as a liquid, but once we recognize it's in this gel form and that we're, we're literally jelly form, we're jellyfish, really, <laughs> with bones st stuck in us just so we can stomp around on the planet. But we really are completely mm. water beings. Every cell is a packet of water. And all those cells, uh, you know, align together to make our various instructional organs. And that water is jumping and, and saturating us from, you know, each cell and then all the flow systems that go through our body, like circulation and lymph. Uh, everything depends on hydration. We really are water beings. And, and, and you know, we've talked about the electrical uh, function of water. We haven't talked about the information transfer ability of water. And once we get well hydrated, we are able to receive so much more information. And there's, I love to call, well, I think information is a great word because it helps people connect. But what we're really talking about is water wisdom. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like all the water in mushrooms and the mycelium and in the vapors in the sky and the clouds and the seas. This is information that can now be coming into our system to accelerate not only our healing and making us whole bodies again and buoyant, mm -hmm. but drawing us towards a different kind of future because we understand we're not dried out anymore. You know, it's amazing, isn't it? It is. It is. And when um, Kenny sent me a uh, water filter for my shower head, okay, that mind boggling changing, I have to say. Because I want you all to realize our, our biggest organ is our skin. And when you change that water that's going on your third eye and your crown chakra and your skin, you are opening up all of those pathways to mm -hmm. gather the information. I'm getting the chills again. You're getting information now on your environment, the people around you. Mm -hmm. It's amplified and you're, you're clear. You know, that's your, your body basically becomes this gigantic antenna of receiving mm -hmm. of information. Mm -hmm. So this is like just, just a, t a small tidbit of what this is doing for us and more than we probably even realize or know. So this is what I wanted you guys all to be aware of. So if you don't have a filter head on your shower, like that's where you need to start. I even know people are putting them in their bathtubs, the whole filtration system, your Kenny, Kenny, your filtration mm -hmm. system are going mm -hmm. in people's bathtubs and they are soaking their entire bodies because it's a, it's a cleansing. It's a purity. It can mm -hmm. help um, with illness, diseases. It's just, it's phenomenal. So uh, I would go ahead. I, Kenny. I, I I know I mean, say when I travel, it's just tough because, you know, I got to go find customers in other towns with my water <laughs> <laughs> so I can <laughs> fill it up. Uh, or I, I do other remedies. You know, Gina wrote the book, Quench. It's a good book that people can get. Um, 
that is you can add some chia seeds to the water to kind of travel with to kind of help structure the water. We try many different ways of doing it, but but when you when I begin to realize that we're actually ninety nine percent made of water, then pretty much like the whole my whole mentality on wa water used to be something we drink from the tap, we didn't care about, and then we used to. Um, we used to go to the springs and look, line up and get water from the spring. We've done that for many years. But many, many of my friends, you know, they have the reverse osmosis, the whole house. They, have, they like the clean water, right? But you realize clean water is not necessarily, you know, the greatest hydrator. Unfortunately, it's not, you know. So, but it's clean. There is benefit for being clean, but you got to do something to the water. But the, the moment that aha moment for me was when I realized that we were 99% of water molecules. Then I told, like, my wife and kids, I mean, everything's water, everything mm -hmm. we do, everything we eat, we begin to realize how important the bathtubs, the shower, um, you know, the, the, even, even, even my, my little hot tub in the backyard, I have a little uh, structured device to structure that water when I go in, just, just, it feels so different, <clears throat> but it is, it is an incredible experience. It's healing, um, definitely provides more energy. You can also tell that you're much more hydrated. You can definitely feel it. And you can do kind of a before and after where you can drink another water, drink this cup. You can tell the huge difference. The water stays in your tongue much longer and structured, right? But then it, it shifts the whole focus. We now cook with the water. So everything from coffee, food, pasta, rice. I mean, we even soak the chicken, you know, organic chicken. We mm -hmm. soak that chicken in the water in a Ziploc bag for like five minutes. <laughs> but it tastes better, <laughs> you know? And the vegetables. So I for me... That was important for our family and also the plants, like you said, in the backyard. It mm -hmm. get a little crazy now. They're growing like crazy, you know, that goes. So a little more work to do upkeep. But it, we can definitely see a difference in the plants. Um, and we do have a lot of customers that will send us pictures about orchids reorchiding or roses growing new roots out the back. I mean, there's so many things. So like you said earlier, if it's good for the plants, it's probably good for us. Right. And well, I think more people are going to grow their own fruits and vegetables. So they that water. Do. They sure do. And yeah. I will say, I'm just going to reframe it one more time. So it really lands. All cells, all cell biology is water based. So mm. we're not talking just about our bodies as water beings. We're talking about snails and plants and birds and everything that is alive is alive because it's a water based cellular structure mm -hmm. so that is amazing and if we're well hydrated we are actually in communication we're in the network with those other living things mm -hmm. that's amazing to me like now that i'm well hydrated <laughs> i mean i've been after this project now this is my 14th year scholarship on water just walking out and looking at a flower there i I love receiving the information that mm -hmm. flower is feeding to yes. me. <laughs> yes. And one of the ways I know that I'm not hydrated is I get so irritable and crabby. <laughs> so if I'm in a crabby mood, I know I'm dehydrated. I know I need to go fix that. So <laughs> sometimes I'll just sit down with the intention to just drink several glasses and not do anything else until those are down. Mm. Because I, <laughs> I know my whole moment, like right after that, life's going to be totally different. Yeah. Once I, I hydrate back up and it's, it's like kind of powering up your body, I would say like mm -hmm. a boost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, to, so just to recap a little bit, what I talked when Gina was not earlier, but the idea that we created was getting an ecosystem in a box. So think about the, the, the Lord Springs, the Norno Springs, the Himalayan mountains, talking to Gina and all the anthropologists and the indigenous desert people. How do you recreate that process? You know, you can't really, I mean, you, you can't build a replica of a mountain. Houses are way too small, right? Mm -hmm. But you would have to learn how to, all the different filters and the rock lakes create all the natural minerals as the water goes through all the different processes. The whole concept is to mimic that process so you have it and so i would say structured water is what gino's talking about is the foundation to everybody's health you know it is if you can if you can drink high quality water and stay well very well hydrated it makes a significant difference in energy and health and mobility and everything you know we get that from just just me alone and all the friends that we have right there's also nothing that we did uniquely that a little bit different than most people we also discovered that if I may add just a little bit of an antioxidant benefit, um, we looked at the Lord Springs and we found that there was a good amount of hydrogen gas. 
So we also a company that decided to maybe we should add some other elements of nature through the filters. And so our system produces structured water and also produces dissolved hydrogen gas, right? So it has the two handles, the left handle that uh, you're talking about, a 7.4-ish, that's the structured water. And the right handle has a natural, natural um, alkalinity of 9.0 to 9.5, that's the hydrogen gas. And it just turns out that a liter of hydrogen water, you're probably getting about four bags of spinach in antioxidant. So it kind of covers both. You got, you got your hydration, right? This you know, your baseline hydration, which is the foundation to your health. And if you want the rocket fuel to your health, then you, you know the hydrogen water kind of accelerates that process. Yeah. So that's kind of the, the you know the ecosystem we create. And um, there's lots of stories, lots of good people talking about it. Um, and it is very hydrating, but. I always come back down to something very simple, and that is if we, we knew that we were 99% of water molecules, then I think we can certainly take some yeah. action. <laughs> we take action on that, absolutely. And yeah. I'm going to tell you, too, it's very much the secret of the fountain of youth. Because oh. when, when you are hydrated, that's when your skin looks amazing. They glow. You know, a, mm. uh -huh, a lot of elderly people are dehydrated, and that's when the wrinkles come in. So this is what I, you know, thank you, Kenny, for letting me put your, I, I put diagrams from Kenny's uh, resources <laughs> in this book. He gave me permission to put them in so people could understand the, mm -hmm. the importance of what this entails for humanity. Like this is really big and mm -hmm. more people need to be paying it. This should be your number one goal. You know, uh, I, I feel like if people spend so much money on coffees and booze and soda, I'm like, eliminate that move all of the money towards the water because when you figure out how much you're spending on bottled water or other types oh, yeah. of water right i i did the math and was like i can own the best system on the planet i'm doing it didn't even within an hour of talking to kenny i pulled the trigger didn't even think twice about it said so, okay, great <laughs> that's gina great. has a great <clears throat> gina has a great story of her mother um this is kind of why gina had a great story about her mom and hydration and how it got her involved into solving hydration for the elderly. And Gina, I think you should definitely share that. Yeah, that's it's why I founded the Hydration Foundation. It's really on behalf of the elderly and my mom. So uh, while I was doing this desert research and I was discovering that um, they were hydrating using foods and that there was a, a, a state of water locked inside food that we could get at that would be far more hydrating, I was getting phone calls from my mother's nursing home saying, I'm so sorry, we had to hospitalize your mom yet again because she's having you know, chronic dehydration. She's on IV, she's fine. But, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm in the middle of this story. Like holding this answer about how to be better hydrated than having to end up you know, IV'd in a hospital. And so many of our elderly are deeply dehydrated. And that's what a lot of the cognitive and memory and even balance issues, the UTIs, which are a classic symptom for the elderly. And of course, they don't want to drink because they want, they're want they struggling with incontinence. They don't want to pee. They don't want to have to get up and pee. It's, it's the whole thing is just um, over, it's, it's fixed with plasma form of, of hydration. You can imagine how jelly and soft like and slowly absorbed and slowly released a gel from nature is so smart <laughs> so yes so um really switching to plasma states of water with my mom i ended up literally sending uh chia seeds to her nursing staff and begging them just put a teaspoon in her morning orange juice and um because of the way that water gets released through foods, especially desert foods, and the chia seed is desert sage, um, that extended her hydration almost two thirds more through the day. It's extraordinary. So we have to get this in from, please, anybody who's listening, please help us spread how vital this information is, right? I don't know if y'all know this, but I've been a realtor for about 20 years and I have focused on the elderly downsizing, going into retirement and assisted mm -hmm. living communities. So I will definitely be sending this up to some of my resources because they all should be very much putting this everywhere. They own in-home care companies. You know, there's big assisted living facilities throughout 
the world or, um, you know, the U.S. And there, it, that's definitely where it starts. And it'll help with, um, like you said, the memory, the metals in the body, mm -hmm. the the inflammation, just so much. This is so, and, and yes. all generations, <laughs> right? All generations actually all really generations. need this. Because nursing the younger, moms, I mean, you know, just pick our right, kids. Right, right. You're making their, their right. You, yeah, you're mixing their baby formula with what kind of water right now? Oh my gosh, I know. <laughs> Think about this. I'm getting I the chills know. again. Like this is this is information that I need to get out to you all because once you, know, you start wrapping your head around it, woo! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, the fascinating about Gina's story is I think your mom called you when she was 92 years old. Yeah. And she was constantly going to the hospital. And then yeah. after sitting in the chair seat, she, she lived till 98. Is that correct? Yep. She and made she it to 98. Went, she Bless never went heart. back ever. She never went back to hospital ever for dehydration. I right. think this needs to get out to a lot of people because this could help so many people. Yeah. Okay, then explain the chia seeds because people might not have access to the water right now, right mm -hmm. away. Okay, mm -hmm. chia seeds, you can find them at Trader Joe's. They're all over now. When I first started this research, they were not. So um, we, um, we basically um, use that seed. I actually had Gerald Pollack test it. And even if you look at the seed, you see that when you put a little bit of water with it, it develops a globe of gel around it. Well, that is structured water. That is the gel form, the plasma form of water. And when you ingest that, it is a much longer, more sustained form of hydration that time releases in your body. So incredibly important. It's just a, a one of those hacks. Anyway, well, that's a secret. We should, I'm, I'm more people that, are gonna you know, know about right all, now. Uh, I'm all about we're even from even from we thought we just lost you, Gina, for about maybe ten seconds. Oh uh, yeah, um, I think I'm so sorry. It seems that my connectivity today is very very awkward. So um, okay. I'll just end. I I, I don't want to lose you again. So I'll just end this for me by saying that, you know, if you help me spread hydration to your own body first, then to your family, then to your community. We are gonna change how we face our future together. Yeah. So please help me spread hydrationfoundation.org. And there's tons of recipes there. There's all the science, there's TED Talks on water and then support companies like Kenny's that are doing all this advanced work, getting high quality water into institutions, into our homes that help mm. us restore water to its ability to conduct life-giving energy force that's beautiful so and I want, we also from from us from spring aqua we're very heart centered we really want to like you said mm -hmm. if chia seeds you have access go get it right now you, you you know hydration comes in three forms you you can exercise go for a walk go in the sunlight that helps the water move around the body you can eat the right type of foods. So, you know, change your diet a little bit, eat healthy green foods and your cucumbers and your mushrooms and the raw fruits and vegetables. And, you know, obviously drinking the right type of water helps, right? So we, we it's all it's all three combined together that really, that and we're, we're supportive of all methods just because it's something that the humanity, everyone needs to benefit from right away, right? We know that if, I know when I go to, when I travel, and there is no water. When I put chia seeds in my water, I know it's different. It's better. <laughs> so good to know. Because yeah. yeah. I when I travel, I take jugs and jugs and jugs of water with me. You know, oh, and I then try, sometimes... I, we all try to do that, but we run out. I'm like, oh no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. And now yeah. we're looking, you know, for the next fix, kind of. <laughs> yeah, travel fixes uh, the chia seeds. Good stuff. <laughs> so Kenny, is your systems around the world now? Are they making it around the yeah. world? Yeah. We're shipping literally um, Germany, Europe. Uh, we've got people all the way, uh, all the way in. I mean, South America and Brazil, also over Asia, Hong Kong, China. It's just, as you know, good people find about good systems. They hear from friends or influencers they follow. They inquire about it. We we the key is to education. The key is if people just come on website. They can um, go to the link that you're going to provide. Just learn about everything. They can schedule time to chat with me or with one of my um, coworkers who know whether we can help them out, answer all the questions. But the, at the end of the day, it's all about education. And because um, FedEx has been a great partner of us, they've helped us expand globally. So we don't have to 
open up operations in other countries. We're able to ship it there, get installed, and they just buy filters every year and a half or whenever it's required, right? So that's been a great partnership that kind of started during COVID when everything was shut down. Um, we got everyone got creative and found ways to kind of weave through the market at that time. So that's been a great blessing for our company. And we've done a lot of extensive research in waters all around the world. So when we say we're shipping it to, say, Italy or Germany or the U.S., Australia, we have to know what's the right type of filter. So we figured that stuff out already. Yeah, so we have a staff around that. And we and obviously have a good logistics and customer service department to help people out as well. Yeah. Oh, wow. And when I started working with you, we had to figure out how many filters for where I live, the city. You, you really <laughs> know the globe really well. We, you, we, you, we have right? real customers, so we have real issues. That we have to resolve them all. I think when you and I, when you thought we're still pretty early back in the days trying to figure all that stuff out, but now as we've grown, we've systemized, you know, and we've embraced a lot of other devices. There's other systems out there like people have whole health filtrations or they have RO systems. We try to embrace everybody. We try to say, okay, let's, let's, let's collaborate, let's make it work, you know, because there are benefits in things that clean, obviously. We're doing a really, really good job cleaning, but sometimes we're also sensitive to people. They've already spent a lot of money on something that maybe just a few months ago, right? And what do you do? So we just try to provide the education, help them out. Yeah. Right. And you have something in your product called the Malphonite Stone. I want to share. Stone. The, yeah. yeah. Can you share about that? So we actually have many. So so think of, here's the easy concept to understand. Think of how Mother Earth works. When water starts on the surface of the earth and then when it goes, trickles down to the bottom, somehow when it hits the rocks or the, 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 the well, it's clean. Right? Mm -hmm. So think of that process and every rock layer has a different type of frequency or electromagnetic field as it as the water touches and goes through. Okay. That's that's how we naturally structure water by understanding how that flow looks like. So the Myfun stone is a crystal. Um, you know, you purify a thousand degrees Celsius, you get the nice pure crystals in the middle, right? It's a volvic volcanic mineral, so it's it's old, but it has a lot of it's very it's, it has a lot of micronutrients in it. And so that's one of the minerals we'll put back in, use it obviously flavor, structure, remineralize the whole process, right? So that when people get the water, you know, you get some of the kind of remineralization from trace elements. It also helps structures and makes the water in a natural kind of a structured phase as well. Yeah. So there's all that process that we're, we're, we're putting together with multiple different rock layer processes. Another example we don't use, but the jade stone, the jade stone emits infrared light naturally. Hmm. Right. We don't use it, but I'm just that's an example of what minerals can do if you understand how that works. So that's why my godfather was important because that's the material science engineering background. You need to understand how to put right. all the pieces together. Yeah. Well, and that's when I did the research and I started um, learning more about your stone, I saw the water contained calcium, magnesium, mm -hmm. zinc iron and then when i saw different organs of the body was impacted by these nutrients oh yeah and mm -hmm. what it did i literally break it down in the book of for and i pulled mm -hmm. my book out to go let me tell you about zinc what you need for zinc you know <laughs> zinc helps with you know acne you young cute kids and it helps with you know immunity and, and just so many things and um selenium helps with people who are going through say menopause or hormonal changes i mean there's so much going on in this water right. I was like screaming as I was writing it and learning it. I was like, oh, nobody realizes how important this is. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So that's pretty cool stuff. And I appreciate uh, appreciate putting us in the book. It's really cool. It's really it's a really cool book. Um, going through it right now, it's it's a very interesting journey. I love it. So. <laughs> oh, good. Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, I want people to, I, they journal at, at the end of each chapter so they mm. can remember what it does and they can go back into their journal to write oh it does these things it helps with you know my eyesight or right. you know if i do this so that way they just it's it's kind of an easy reference for them to really focus on themselves and their health and maintain mm -hmm. the information because there's yep. a lot of information in that book i go and reread it there's so many layers because i mm -hmm. speak on multiple perspectives because everything is seen like through a holographic field and not one thing is just a tunnel vision everybody's right. got different you know so every time i read it i'm like whoa this is a, another good new thing i'm 
forgot about or you know need, <laughs> didn't see before. So that's yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, multidimensional. Yeah. I have to say, just like this water, this is um, that's why I put it in the very first front and center chapter because I realized this is where it all starts. And our yeah. future, our future is this, and our mm -hmm. future is preparing our bodies to do something um, more profound. That's where we're hitting our superpowers. This is tapping into extra sensory mm -hmm. capabilities, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And this is where everybody can go and will go when they're ready to wake up and take action and mm -hmm. live a different type of lifestyle because that's yeah. what's going to happen. Yeah, and and the just to kind of sum it up, I just tell people it's easy, easy to understand what this is like. It's not like a filtration system. It's not like we're adding stuff to the water. It's not like um, we we're mending pieces. It's really think of a having a mountain in a box in your house <laughs> under your sink that's yeah. producing spring water, or think of it as an ecosystem in a box. So visualize that image of it. It's the whole thing, right? And so to me, it's a, for, for us sharing this, it's, it's a tremendous peace of mind because it's so pure. It's like, wow, I'm gonna sleep at night very happy that this is, this is gonna help a lot of people. And the idea of having a mountain, of, a mountain in the box, it's like, whoa, that's, you know, to get that feeling about it, right? It oh, makes yeah. it very different, yeah. Well, and when I go to restaurants, I literally bring my jug of water oh, with yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it's kind of like a moonshine style you know jug but it's yeah. tinted i have it's tinted yeah. to you know protect it and yeah. you know sometimes people are looking at me like are you bringing alcohol in here i'm like no no nope. <laughs> but, but i bring my water everywhere people are always trying to offer me something else and i said nope this is all i need this is all i That's want right. yeah. yeah so um even when there's other options i will always choose my water <laughs> yeah that's so. true now yeah. we get lots of stories of people going on trips and missing their water, going to Europe, missing the water. It's so many stories, but you know what? Now I can go grab some chia seeds. Maybe that would help temporarily, you know? Right. Else, and I thought about getting a motor home at one point in traveling across America and doing that, you know, road trip. I've always wanted to go across America and have <laughs> right? that experience. Right. Yeah. And I was like, can I put the water filtration system in there? And I found out I can, right. Yes, you can. Correct. Okay. Yeah. It's so if company. you have motor homes or second homes, like you're going to find that you're going to want to put it everywhere you're at. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so um, it's funny because I've talked to a few friends and once I've told them about the water system, they've also spent thousands of dollars on other water systems. And then they're like, nope, I'm going to get what you have because that's definitely hands down top notch. It's, it's about the education and we're very hard sitting. So we want people to come and learn about it, talk to us about it, get educated, understand more. And uh, like I said, people spend lots of money on water. We're very sensitive to that. You know, they've already probably spent some and we're there just to help and help them make an educated choice. Yeah. And we, either way, whatever direction they go, we're totally cool. But the, the most important thing is if they're educated, at least they know how to make a good, make a good decision for themselves. Yeah. So you younger generations, I want you to understand this. Mm -hmm. College kids, high school kids, junior high, whatever. This is going to change your life and the way you operate on this planet. Your mm -hmm. frequency will be so elevated. Your performance mm -hmm. will be off the charts. You will test better. You will mm -hmm. excel at sports. I mean, this is, I'm getting the chills again. This is how your superpowers will manifest and appear. So it's not about drinking uh, coffee or energy drinks anymore. This mm -hmm. is the future. This is now. This is the answer. Lovely. Well said. Yeah. Yeah. So how are your, your kids? Are you seeing a change in your children from it? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> My kids, I, I had the system before, had the kids before the system. When the system came in place, I could, um, kids call a bubble water. That's all they want. They, they they love it. They, I've seen other kids too just heal. You know, I've seen them mentally heal. I've seen athletes. I've seen um, mm -hmm. athletes far better hydrated. Yeah, and less cramming. More. You know, there's just a lot. So, I just encourage. I mean, my family, my mom, <laughs> my in laws. Mm -hmm. Everyone's on the water. Yeah. Right. And, and it's it's pretty obvious, but. I tell people the most important thing is get educated. There's a lot to learn. There's a lot to kind of clear the facts. We had Gina on earlier. She's very good at it. her website's great to read. 
and to really spend time to dig into it. Yeah, that really makes a big difference. Yes, her website is hydrationfoundation.org for those mm -hmm. of you who want to go look it up and connect to yeah. her. Um, we're all also on LinkedIn to connect to us and reach mm -hmm. out because I love to hear your stories, your befores, your afters. Uh, just this is a movement, honestly. Mm -hmm. Kenny, you are a pioneer leading the way to this new world, Earth. And more people are going to start having results. They're going to be sharing it. And we, I would love for this to get into the colleges, the college students. I mean, these, right? They're going to be leading our new frontier as well. And right. they, their clarity is so important. So our bodies contain a lot of metals from mm -hmm. the air we breathe, the food we're eating. There's a lot going on. That's what causes um, the, the mental fog and Alzheimer's mm -hmm. and central mm -hmm. nervous system malfunction. So this water is going to purify the blood, the cellular level, the organs. It's going to clean everything. Once you it's start, it's a good detoxer. <laughs> yes, yes, and once you detox, that's when like the the third eye opens, the clarity sets in. This is where you function and operate at a very high frequency. When you're at a mm. very high frequency, you can see and understand things the average normal human that's vibrating low cannot. You can mm -hmm. see other things in other dimensions and other realms. Um, you'll get clearer messages. You'll connect to your higher self better. Mm -hmm. Like there's mm -hmm. so much magic that is happening from this change alone. And uh, this is why I had to bring you all in to see this and witness this. Uh, yeah, it's, it's been fun. It's been lots of fun. And we do have a lot of customers that like you. It's super magical, very high, very high frequency. will say the same thing when they drink the water. Like, wow, you know, they feel the, it's very different. Yeah, so... Yeah, you feel different, you function different. Mm -hmm. And you'll notice mm -hmm. when people are operating on a different lower frequency really quick because yeah, they're yeah, not, absolutely. you know, they're not eating right or they're not drinking the right, you know, products. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Right. And that energy mm -hmm. field that you're around affects your field. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. so this is why when you start operating on a higher field, you'll notice that you're impacted by the environment you work in the people you live with. So the more that you start to elevate yourself and other people elevate, you're going to uh, operate more in sync together, right? That's when the mm -hmm. telepathy is going to start to come in, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. there's, there's so much superpowers coming out through just this one, one change alone. And uh, every, I just, this is everything, the foundation to health, foundation to life. It's water, right? You, so, you can live a few days without eating food, but Good luck on water. <laughs> you need it every day. <laughs> so, yes, yeah. Kenny, what is your superpower, would you say? I think I have a big heart, big love for people. I think that's the most important. I, and I've grown into that role. I mean, something that I had to learn to. I think um, the world has shifted in so much love energy is, is coming out right now. And embracing and loving people and embracing everybody. That's kind of where... You know, the water company, myself, the energy of the frequency of the company is we're there to love and just to show that we're heart centered, right? Everyone needs water. We need to educate them and we need to embrace all forms of people, life, plants, man on earth as well. And so if I had a superpower, I'd say that love is deep. Mm, that's you know, beautiful. That I really, and we really care about people and we really want to um, share that love and education to others. Right. So when we get on podcasts, talk to people, it's all about sharing, educating, loving and embracing um, all walks of life. And like I said, people have spent many, much different money on different things and they've walked different lives. And <clears throat> working with, you know, the elderly, you look at the nursing home people. Right. Working with you now, the book you wrote and also the intuitives that, that come around that um, with children. So what I've learned with water it's very broad. It is, I've never done a business or anything in my life as close to this broadness. It really touches every walk of life and every flow of life from supply food chain, from vegetables you grow, from farming, from, you know, even the wastewater treatment. It's, mm -hmm. it's an incredible. So it's, a, so it's an eye awakening for me in the sense where, you know, I have to become humble and also learn a lot more about myself, but also learn about that the world's a lot bigger and there's definitely a lot more people involved than just me, right? And so so we've learned over the years to shift our whole focus into more of a heart-centered approach, 
right? So we can help more people out and embrace more people. Yeah. And even our pets, we can give our pets the water and they're going to yeah. change. Mm -hmm. I feel we, like I get to love I get to telepathic with my dog. <laughs> oh, geez. The pets, pets are like animals like us too. And they benefit from the water as well. Their skin. Um, there's so many pets I've seen that had no hair, hair started growing back. And I mean, even my own dog, he passed away recently because, you know, he's old, but I remember when he had the water, he loved it a lot as well. Yeah. Uh -huh. And cats. And so we see it and we also have holistic veterinarians that work with us as well. that recommend it to the pet parents. And okay. I mean, pet parents, a big deal. <laughs> right. You know, they're, they're children. And it's, it's so funny because my daughter took my dog in to yeah. wash her in the in the shower one time and she came out. She's like, why is the dog so soft? And I said, because the shower head, it was filtered. The water was filtered. She's like, oh, the fur is so soft. And I've even had yeah. like, jump, I've had guys tell me when they've touched my hand or my skin, they're like, oh my gosh, your skin is so it's soft. Glowing. So, yep. Yeah, they're like, it's, it's the water that you're using, huh? And I go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. No, so it, water it is it's it's a it's a big deal for me because um it it really I didn't quite understand what I was walking into back in 2014, um but I had all the connections and just kind of the environment was kind of surrounded like wow this is incredible, but I do have a story to share because this 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 real lot um has to do with my birth name because in Chinese my birth name means it's it's Tian Lin Tian means heaven and Lin is a Chinese character where it's the forest of it's a rain over the forest. So when I was born, my dad named named me Heavenly Waters for some reason in in, in Chinese. I had no idea, and I wasn't even doing any water back then. I was just doing all sorts of business in terms of sports and nutritional health and all the good stuff, right? But when the water came, it came naturally to me. I understood it very quickly. Yeah, so maybe this is meant meant to be what I was supposed to be doing, and then it was embedded. <laughs> Yeah, it's embedded. I was born with that name. So Heavenly Water is very interesting. The forest oh. and the earth and people. And then over the time, just learning to love people, right? Open their heart up and to, to share the love that everyone needs good water. Yeah. So. I do feel like the frequency of this water is a love frequency. Mm -hmm. It softens people's hearts because yep. you're clearing. Water actually clears lineage patterns from your family mm -hmm. timeline. Yeah. So we are embedded with codes and programming in patterns from our ancestors. And believe it or not, this water will clear that out. It'll open your chakras. It'll open up your meridians, your yes. pathways to clear it out. So you can become authentically you. Absolutely. And that's, mm -hmm. Right. And unconditional oh, yeah. love now will flow out of you, through you, to you. And, and water, like I said, water has memory to say that. You know, it's a very true statement. <laughs> so, yeah, so oh. we should bless the water we drink and but take it seriously as well. And definitely the detox, the clearing, all that stuff is part of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can always put energy in the water before you drink it. There are mm -hmm. meditations you can do. You know, there's Dr. Emoto who did a whole study. He's also in mm -hmm. my book. And you can YouTube him as well. And he did energy towards water and froze it and it looked like beautiful snowflakes different shapes when it was mm -hmm. love happiness positivity and then he also did it with like anger and hate and the water looked like shattered glass that's right yeah yeah so when you have when you compare the two if you're in a state of flow abundance and love mm -hmm. that's where it's going to radiate out of you through you you know to the world and mm -hmm. if you're not, that's the shattered glass. It's all like um, fighting with one another and not not dancing together. You know, there's a difference yeah. when your cells are dancing and flowing and flying and playing. So that's where you really want to start taking your energy it's, right it's out. The, co the coherence of water and the, and the symmetry when you and so uh, many of our customers have taken the Emoto test and frozen the spring aqua water. And you get this beautiful snowflake of symmetry, of alignment, you know. So, yeah, reference Emoto, he's, he's no longer around, but he was pretty big back in the days. <laughs> right. And it's sacred yeah. geometry shapes, which is what's on the cover of my book. Sacred geometry yep. is basically considered secrets of the universe. Yeah, absolutely. So sacred geometry has messages, codes, light information in it. There's mm -hmm. so much going on. And literally, when we have it harmonized in our bodies, our souls mm -hmm. become mm -hmm. aligned. Absolutely.
Yeah, that's been this has been a great experience. I, lo I love talking about this. Yeah, I know, but right? I love sharing the heart. I love sh showing people the love, and love providing the education. This is very important for them. And I just encourage people to you know go to that link that you're going to provide. Just get educated. That's it. Just get in, take a deep dive, learn everything, ask all the questions, and we'll be there to answer. If, if they want to schedule time to chat with me, I'll be on the other side. You know, so. Right. Okay. That's good. I'll put the link in and then you can be booking times and okay, anytime well, um, yeah. this me and this Aaron, this other, uh, she's one of my coaches. She's really good too. She's a healer and also a big water snob as well, but uh -huh. we, we both understand it really well. We're there to answer everybody's questions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And you know, also if you're at a college or at a school, you might mm -hmm. even want to bring this topic right in to share with your friends and family mm -hmm. and relatives and everybody because once you start operating at a very high frequency you want to help other people get leveled up as well absolutely yes. right and that's where we're going with this planet this is um part of the ascension is yeah. changing our bodies and our dna's to be the best frequency we possibly can yes i and agree 100 yes yeah, this is where it begins <laughs> this is where it begins Thank you for joining us today on this segment of learning about the cosmic healing benefits of living water. I hope we've changed your life for the better and you can learn more by going to Spring Aqua Info Wellness Water. Until next time, we'll see you then.